London's wildlife is amazing. From peregrine falcons to Jersey tiger moth, it is home to more than 13,000 different species. The diversity of wildlife found across London can even shock its residents. But with 47% of our city made up of green and blue spaces, and with 1,570 sites of importance for nature conservation, its biodiversity should come as no surprise. As part of the Keeping It Wild project, youth clubs across London have been working on social action projects to help raise awareness of local wildlife issues that matter to them and their communities. In Plasto, Spressor's Young Guardians of the Environment have been working hard to protect wildlife and raise awareness of conservation issues through presentations to the community and public figures. Together with litter picking activities, hanging birdhouses in squirrel hotels and posters displayed in their local community, the team are well on their way to protecting the nature that they love. In Rotherhithe, Surrey Docks Farm Youth Club have launched a buzzing online campaign called Hashtag Let's Get Pollinating. With the aim to improve knowledge in their community about the role of pollinators and involve local people in initiatives to plant wildflowers and trees, Rotherhithe's pollinators look to be in good hands. Let's Get Pollinating is a project that's being run by the young farmers at Surrey Docks Farm and being supported by London Youth to help raise awareness and to help pollinators in London. We've been campaigning and sharing information on the social media. In Thamesmead, Peabody has set up a brand new youth eco-development council. Running online campaigns through their Instagram page, they have been able to share their passion for the environment by young people, for young people. Recently they went on a litter picking mission across Thamesmead and created a wonderful aerial art piece to raise awareness of the local extinction of the Marsh Harrier. In Brent, Alex said Youth Club created an amazing documentary about the importance of nature for well-being during lockdown. I've never thought that nature plays such a big role in my life. But after almost three months of lockdown, I realized that parts are the places I go when I need to be alone, when I need to think. Not only have they highlighted the need for nature in London, they have shown that even when faced by a pandemic and forced to be away from one another, they were able to adapt and make connections despite the distance. If you've been inspired to do something by the brilliant groups featured in this video and are looking for ways to get involved, make sure to check out some of the other resources in this digital toolkit, where you can find out more about how to take part in social action projects across the capital and how to start one of your own.